was at um, Saturday. But I was like drinking coffee, watching a YouTube video, getting woke up ready for the day. It's a little bit cloudy. Anyways, one of the videos I'm going over and over again was uh. Basically, dealt with skills for after a you know, skills that you can still make a living with after a total government control society. You know what I mean? <laughs> you say whatever you want, but right now we still have quite a bit of freedom in the United States. Not as much as we should have because in days of that because of the lack of accountability on the part of citizens over the past few years. But uh <coughs> like so well I don't need to like start splitting political air or anything. <clears throat> but if the government owns everything, if the government's in control of everything, whatever it is, if it's corporations take over the government, uh, communism, whatever, there's not going to be homesteads. That's there's not going to be small business. There's not going to be whatever. I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy all these really cool little tiny things off of uh, Amazon or eBay or whatever, carparts.com, whatever. I'm not going to be able to do, buy all that super cheap stuff and turn it into something and turn around and resell it because it's all controlled by someone else now. You know, it's not up to me. If they're going to control how much everybody gets paid, how much, you know, whether or not anybody works, what kind of jobs there are, who gets what jobs, who gets to work on the police force, who gets to join the army, or asked to join the army, who has to be police, you know, stuff like that. You know, if they're doing all of that, then there's not going to be any room for personal growth at all. They say they're doing it for to increase the chance of personal growth and development and self-worth and stuff like that. But if there's no reason other than your own personal self-growth and stuff to explore beyond the boundaries of what you're currently experiencing, experiencing then why would you do that? Why put forth the effort if there's no benefit other than self-awareness? Because you can become self-aware doing an assembly job at a factory. I mean, your job doesn't define who you are. I mean, if, if a job defines who you are, then uh, I've got multiple personalities because my jobs have all been different. My trades have all been different. So each time I learned a new skill, I defined myself as a different person. It's not what you do that defines you. So, I, mean, I don't, I don't think that, uh, what is it where the, you know, they do 
sneaker heist or something dumb like that where they did away with everything and everything's a, a personal worth based society. Just give what you got coming because it's got a person you are because you can do art because you can write songs because blah blah blah. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that think they can write poetry. I've I've got a whole book full of them. I ain't never gonna bump that stuff because I read it. It sucks. I mean, it's that simple. Um, I'm not poetic. I like the idea of being poetic, but that doesn't mean that I'm poetic. Um, I have tried my hand at writing songs. I like the idea of being able to write, and write a song. I'm not even good at it. Does that prevent me from doing it as a hobby? No. Does that mean that I should receive a paycheck for it? Well, even though I'm, I suck at it? But because I want to be, that's that's what I define myself as. That's what I think, where I think my, my worth is. So I should get paid. Like the guy who's actually good at it. I don't think so. You know, it, you know, uh, now, if there's something you, like me, I mean, uh, I'm actually pretty good at finding out what's wrong with the way things are being done. I'm actually really good. I can look at a plan, a plant, uh, a process, and I can say, okay, you know, you're wasting like a lot of energy here. You're wasting a lot of hours. You're wasting a lot of time. Uh, you're using the wrong equipment. You're Blah 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 blah. I mean that's something I'm good at. That's that's it's actually something I enjoy doing. There's not a lot of call for it out there because you know who wants to pay somebody to come in there and tell them they're doing everything wrong? Uh, because it gets quite expensive. Because as a general rule, the people who are in control already the way things are being done was their idea and they you know, they find it very hard to believe that they got it wrong. So, but, uh, the, the thing with the Ziegler High still, there's, there's too many inherent flaws in it, it'll never work. Uh, their inherent flaws in everything. I mean, capitalism, because it's based on an increase of worth simply for and by work, monetary gain. There's no actual real worth behind the way things are valued in capitalism. That's its downfall. It used to be quite different. Hundred years ago, worth was based on something that had real earthly value. There was a real basis for that. It caused a person to have to work very hard to increase their worth. simple as doing some fancy math on a piece of paper and just magically becoming richer. So, that being said, uh, it's, don't be thinking you're going to be getting the tip in this new world. And uh, just get to do whatever you want to, wherever you're at. They'll tell you where to live. Chernobyl. They told those people to go live on the farms. And then when Chernobyl messed up, they told people to get off the farms. They didn't give them a choice. I'm just saying. <laughs>